Hello guys, Jerry Flynn here. Um, I'm going to be looking at the view render dialog and some of the settings here in this video. So let's open that up. So in MicroStation Connect Edition Update 15 in the visualization task, if you're on the home ribbon, you will see that in the rendering group, there's a new icon here. It's got a little purple swatch in the front. That's the view render icon. So if you click on that, it'll open up the view render dialog. And whenever it opens, if you have rendered before, you might have history images. So right here is a little place you can click and open up your history. And you can see I have several renders in the history folder. So if I were to look at something in history, I can just select it and it will display. And if I make an adjustment to the tone mapping, maybe I make this a tad brighter, you can see that the thumbnail image has not changed. So you can either uh, refresh these and I think we need to change the tooltip there to say refresh thumbnails and not presets but you can also right click on it and just say refresh and you'll see that it now matches what I've dialed in with my tone mapping and in the tone map options if you click once on the icon here for the brightness you'll see that these are the various tone mappers that you can choose from um, okay, so let's look at rendering this view, view two. So I can either be in active view mode or I can select the view that I want to render. I typically have my camera on in one of my views. So I'm going to select view two. Um, you could ray trace with view or you can path trace. So I'm doing an interior scene. I'm going to choose path tracing it's going to be uh, much quicker and especially if you have a scene that's using uh, the PBR or physically based render materials uh, you'll find the path tracer to be much faster okay also there's um, once you've done a render you've got various post render settings so you can come in and, and make adjustments here uh, you could say you want to see a monochrome instead of full color. Uh, there's adjustments for bloom and some other post-processing options as well, which is, is new. It's not something that we had before with Luxology. Okay, um, so I've already done a short video on relighting and one on NPR, but if you wanted to enable those, you could. You could enable relighting. You could enable NPR both. Uh, prior to a render and whenever you render that information to be available and then these would be enabled and you'd be able to make the adjustments but what I want to show here is I'm gonna switch my render to be a fast preview render and I'm gonna use exterior final which will be uh, the lowest number of samples per pixel all of the settings are currently in presets so you don't have the capability to go into a render settings dialog and, and make little fine tuning tweaks so i'm going to choose this one i know that it's going to look pretty good with the path tracer with the denoiser working for me i'll use uh, afternoon but you can see there's uh, several different atmospheres and i plan to do another video to show a little bit more about the atmosphere editor itself okay so once i've got this going here i can just click on this render icon and it'll go out and prepare the scene and start path tracing the scene so let me zoom in here here we'll set this to 100 percent Okay, now because I'm using fast preview, then I can actually change my camera position. So let's just move my camera over here. 
And I can also make some adjustments to the brightness. And you can see this is still rendering. And this is kind of a cool thing that I can do. I can go in here and actually move um, the object. So let's just move this. And I'll move it just over this direction and enter a data point. And you'll see this update and the vase will be moved to the new position. And that's something that we uh, could not do before with uh, Luxology. We would have to send the entire scene over again. But with Vue, we're able to actually move geometry while the fast preview is running. So let's back up the camera again. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the render. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to be interior final. And I'll, I'll leave the resolution as it is. We'll Close this down and we'll go ahead and switch to normal render. So we'll turn off the fast preview and now I'm going to render so with interior final. So this will be more samples per pixel. And again, I'll set this to 100%. And you can see that the it's refining. Okay, so now my render has finished and we've got a render time of 49 seconds. Not bad. So that's the view render dialog with some of the options. Um, if we go back here, open this up in the post render options. Again, you have control over things like bloom. So you could enable bloom. Kind of dial this back a bit. Maybe a tad. And there's also some color correction options. So if you went into post-processing, color correction, then you could adjust saturation, for instance. You can adjust the gamma. So give it a spin. I think you guys are going to really like it. So that's it for this video. I'll plan to do a few more of these workflow videos soon. Enjoy.